Well, now on to one of the Spanish banks that did pass the test, Bank Inter. And joining us on the phone now is David Perez Renovales, Bank Inter's Head of Finance and Risk. Welcome. Uh, let me begin by asking you about your capitalization. There were some rumors that your bank might not make the test. Uh, you did in the end, but at 6.8%. Uh, Are you convinced that you're sufficiently capitalized? Yes. Uh, well, good morning, first of all. Uh, well, I think uh, well, the, the stress test has been a very homogeneous and necessarily a standardized exercise for all the banks in Europe. I uh, think that uh, the this, this stress test, in our opinion, hasn't catched all the features or the specific circumstances of every bank. Bank Inter uh, is a particularly special bank because uh, we do have a very, uh, I would say, low uh, risk profile. That is why we do have uh, the level of capital that is uh, accurate for the uh, risk profile of the bank. Uh, besides that, uh, apart from the capital, uh, we do have a very stable and recurring uh, revenue uh, generation. Um, besides, uh, we haven't used all the uh, capital gains that should, could be implicit in our balance sheet. Uh, uh, some other competitors have already used, of, uh, used them uh, in order to, to, uh, to generate revenues and more resilience uh, uh, along the cycle. That's not our case. So the, the solvency implicit in Bank Inter's balance sheet is much stronger than the figures uh, uh, only, uh, the only figures show. That is why we are very confident with the exercise and we are very confident with the strength uh, implicit in our balance sheet. Now, how confident are you that this, uh, these stress tests will be well received by the markets and that they will in fact make uh, interbank lending easier? Well, I think it's not going to be the panacea. I, uh, so uh, it, is, it, it, it will definitively help uh, the, the market to become more normalized in general terms. Uh, the point is that uh, this is an, a milestone in a way of uh, uh, recovering such a normality. Uh, mm -hmm. The point is uh, um, we will see firstly the interval market, then the capital markets that should reopen, uh, perhaps slowly, but it, they should reopen. But in general terms, uh, I think that the exercise has been very well uh, accepted by the marketplace, by the analyst, and uh, it will be very helpful at the end of the day. So uh, it is not going to change radically from one day to another, There's but uh, it is a very good milestone in the way. There is already talk about more stress tests and harsher stress tests. If that, uh, if that bar were a little bit higher, you would need to find more capitalization, wouldn't you? Well, I think that uh, the stress test exercise is going to be repeated uh, from time to time, and uh, is, it's going to become a, a very an unusual exercise uh, for, the, uh, for, the, for the entities by themselves and uh, reporting the risk and, the, and the, their respective situation and for the uh, financial charities as well. Uh, the point is that um, I think that we are in the, in the, perhaps in the, in the past, in the past, in the, in the worst part, part of the cycle. And if things recover, uh, the needs of a further capitalization uh, should be softer in the first uh, stage. And for those entities that could be uh, some more accurate or more uh, uh, limited uh, capital ratios, of course, it is a very good opportunity to say, well, uh, we do have uh, a, a very strong commitment with the capitalization of the entity, so uh, we should do uh, some steps in that way. Okay, uh, David Perez-Renoles, thank you very much indeed for joining us from Interbank.